I have dreams and, and sleepless nights and just thinking like where he could be. A new Bedford man checks into a Dartmouth hotel then disappears, leaving his family haunted by an unsolved mystery for more than a year. And tonight we're looking back at the day that Henry Firmino was reported missing and new efforts now to find him. Tamara Sikarsik from the NBC 10 I team reports. Love family, um, holidays, birthdays. He never forgot anybody's birthday. Henry Firmino was a family man, a father of three with several siblings of his own. We were close because he was the only one around. Despite their 12 year age difference, Trina adored her brother. Henry was well known in New Bedford, always making new friends. Everybody in the city knew him. He cooked and then he was he worked at, um, they had a um, convenience store downtown and um, he worked there for a little bit selling tickets and he drove cab for years. Whether it be pop in visits or phone calls, Henry always made sure he was there for his loved ones, never missing a birthday or special occasion. He would call and everybody that knows my brother knows that, that he's not that type to make us worry. But on May 19th, 2021, a storm of worry clouded Trina's mind as she filled out a missing persons report, her brother's name front and center. My nephew had called me and said, that he hadn't heard from his dad, um, and it's not like him. For him not to call his son on his birthday, that was, that was an alarm right there. The investigation pointed police to the Capri Motel in Dartmouth. On the last day he was seen, he was in the company of another male. That sighting made on Sunday, May 9th. The cleaning lady seen him with someone, but they don't know who it was. She just said a, a, a thin, Cape Verdean meal. What were your thoughts? Something happened to him. Immediately? Yeah. With Henry, we were dealing with uh, substance abuse issues, um, mental health issues. Dartmouth Police Detective Kyle Costa, one of several officers working the case. We know that he had interactions at while he was at the hotel with different men, um, but you know we've interviewed everybody that we can interview at that place and Nobody's giving us any information on it. With no working surveillance cameras and a cell phone with no real clues, those interactions may be key to cracking the case. There's uh, a couple of people that we still want to talk to or are still trying to grab some information about that I think would be persons of interest as far as talking to them, you know, about his last location, what he was doing, you know, what he was probably involved in or possibly involved in. But if foul play was involved, no evidence has been recovered. We've used drones, we've used dogs, we've used search and rescue teams, and we've searched the entire area from uh, Walmart on State Road pretty much down to Reed Road, um, best we can. Do I think that this is one that we're gonna be pursuing more heavily? I do, um, but again, it takes time sometimes with uh, things that have kind of a CD element to it, and I 100% believe that this has a CD element to it. As for Henry's family, each passing month is a painful reminder that their loved one is still missing. In my in my gut, I feel he's not here. But to not know is just, it hurts. As they struggle to keep hope alive. I just feel like it's been that long that they may never find him if he's out there. Is that your biggest fear? This is one of several cases now being looked into by the Bristol County District Attorney's Office cold case unit. They describe Henry as a five foot two African American man, 61 years old, between 155 and 165 pounds. If you have any information on this case, call 508-961-1918. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarczyk.